Hi guys, what's up? It's Mel. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, then hi! My name is Mel or Melissa. I go by both. Welcome to another Melissa Monday video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new year because it is January 1st right now, 2023, and I am going to talk you guys through um, the resolutions or the goals that I set for myself this year. And I put those in air quotes because I don't call them that anymore. What I call them is themes and intentions. And I do that because I feel like they're less daunting to me and I'm more likely to actually accomplish them when I call them this. So that's what I do. Um, I only set one theme for myself. By the way, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my themes and intentions on my little pad here. Um, I only set one theme for myself, and then I ended up setting five intentions for the year. That's just me. If you want to set one of each, then you totally can. If you don't want to set any at all, you totally can. It's totally up to you. It is your year. It is what you want to do with it. So, so my very only theme for the year is actually to live more authentically. And it's because I feel like we're our own worst enemies. And I feel like we're just constantly being mean to ourselves all the time. So we're constantly not helping ourselves to be the best versions of us that we can be. Um... So I want to live my most authentic self this year. I want to be the best me that I possibly can be and just grow and learn and just do good, honestly. So, um, yeah, living more authentically. And I honestly, authenticity to me is very, very important because I feel like there's a lot of, there can be people that hold us back. We can hold us back ourselves. And I feel like we should just not let that happen anymore and we should just live our authentic selves and just be happy with who we are because we only get this one life and we should live it to the best that we can. So, authenticity. Um, and then I set myself five intentions and I use the word intentions because it, to me an intention is less daunting than a goal or a resolution and that is because um, instead of like having a goal for the day, I could have an intention for the day. Like, um, intention. I want to intend to clean all of my room, you know, or I want to intend to send five nice texts to people or something, you know, um, and then if it doesn't happen because we get busy or life happens, then that's okay because we did the best that we could, we intended to, and it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> um, so I just, sorry, I popped my fingers, but I just, I feel like intentions are the best that I can do right now with my life. But I feel like if I set an intention for myself, then I'm more likely to accomplish it than if I set a goal or a resolution. So that is why I'm setting intentions this year and last year actually. Um, so yeah, my very first intention is actually coming from a friend of mine who says, your name is safe with me. And that basically means you don't talk negatively about anybody, you don't talk bad about anybody, you talk nicely about everybody. Um, whether they're in your presence or they're not, you talk nice about them. And that's just something that I really truly love that I wanted to bring into 2023 with me and the rest of my life, honestly. Because I feel like... I feel like the more we talk down other people, we're just talking down ourselves too. And it's just not okay. It's not a nice thing to do. And I want to be as nice of a person as I can be in 2023. Not that I haven't been nice in the past, but obviously we all are human. We all make mistakes. That's why these are intentions and not rules or whatever. They are intentions. And I'm just going to intend to keep everybody's name safe with me. That means if somebody comes up to me and complains about somebody else, great. I will happily listen to their complaint. Will I chime in and also tell them complaints about that person? No. I will just calmly listen and be like, okay, thank you for telling me that. Um, and then move on <laughs> with my life. Um, and that is what I'm going to do because I don't want to talk negatively about people anymore. Um, you know, I have caught myself doing that a couple times this year and it's just not what, who I want to be. So I am definitely, that's, it's just something that I want to work on this year and something that I intend to work on. So your name is safe with me. That's number one. Number two is I'm actually going to be upping my content this year and I'm going to be making two videos a week if possible instead of one. So I have a Melissa Mondays video that comes out, but then as well as that, I'm also going to be doing another video maybe on Thursday or Friday or something. It just depends on if I get the idea and if I can actually film and get edited and uploaded and everything. So that is what I'm going to be doing this year um, for me. I'm going to be, and for you guys, I'm going to be uploading hopefully twice. Um, there's a YouTuber out there that says, 
I upload once on this day and upload twice on this day if I feel like it. So it's kind of going to be like me and what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just going to be trying my best to up my content schedule and just upload more. Speaking of uploading more, my third intention of the year is actually going to be posting more on all platforms. This includes Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, um, maybe even a little bit of Twitter. I don't really use Twitter a lot anymore. Um, just because, quite honestly, it's not it's not my favorite platform because it's it, there gets to be a lot of negativity on there um, that I've noticed anyway in the past couple of months. But I do still tweet on there every once in a while. So that is my um, intention this year is to post more on all platforms. So um, I'm going to leave the links for all the platforms down below. And then if you want to follow me on there, it is Melissa Manda across everything. I'm trying to make it that way at least. And yeah, that's what it's going to be. So I'm excited. So basically that means that you guys get to follow me on mostly Instagram. I post a lot of my stories. I post a lot of polls and like interesting things on my stories. I don't post a lot of actual posts on Instagram. I post more like stories and stuff. So you can follow me on Instagram and participate in the polls and everything like that. So yay. Um, the next one that I have for, um, the next intention that I have, I'm um, attention for is actually to get better at makeup and skincare. I am terrible at makeup and skincare right now. Like, if you can see my makeup right now, like if you looked closely, you could probably tell that I just kind of nipped it on. I'm not the best at makeup, and I'm definitely not a beauty where I'm not a beauty YouTuber by any means, but I want to get better at doing makeup because I want to be more intentional with it. And, um, I am wearing some sparkles today, if you can't tell, I'm very happy, but I want to get better at doing makeup, just I want to be more intentional with it and more excited about doing makeup, because normally it's a chore for me, so I want to get excited about it again, and I want, because I used to be, I don't know why, I haven't been lately, but I want to get excited about it, and I want to just bring the best me that I can to every day, and if that means not wearing any makeup and just focusing on my skincare, then that's what that means, but... Um, yeah, I am going to be focusing on my skincare a lot this year. The only problem with me in makeup and skincare is that my skin is extremely sensitive and if I put the wrong thing on it, it could break out and it just ruins my day, my week, my month even sometimes. So it's harder for me to find good products. So if you guys have any good product recommendations for somebody with very sensitive skin, leave them in the comments down below and I will definitely try them out. Um, but yeah, makeup and skincare because I am terrible at skincare. I do use moisturizer every night, um, but I'm just terrible at skincare in general and I want to get better at it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. It's one of my intentions for the year. And my last intention for the year is actually going to be to organize my life better because I feel like every year, every season, we change as humans, we grow and learn as humans. And that just it makes it so that sometimes our lives are unorganized based on how our head is thinking, right? So I'm going to be organizing my life a lot, um, my social media stuff, I'm going to be organizing the items around me a lot, you know, like reorganizing them, making them look nicer, making them look better, making them better for me so that I can find things, so that I can access things, so that I can know what I have and know what I don't have and what I need and all that good stuff. So that is my fifth one, is to just organize my life. Um, and organize everything around me to the best of my ability. Obviously, I'm not going to organize other people's things um, or their lives, but I'm going to do it to mine. I'm going to post as much as I can on social media. I'm going to post as much as I can on YouTube and all other platforms. I'm going to organize the items in my room. I'm going to organize, items the, the, organize the items around me as much as I can so that I can live the best and most authentic version of myself that I can be every single season. Um, something that I'm actually thinking of doing is organizing my closet and then I have a dresser and a closet, right? So I'm going to organize my, um, my dresser and my closet so that I have like all summer stuff in the dresser and then all winter stuff in the closet and then vice versa when that happens, you know, um, when the seasons change. That's one of my ideas. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it because I don't know if that'd be feasible because I don't have a lot of summer stuff because I like fall and winter a lot more, but that's one of my ideas. So yeah, um, those are my themes and it, theme and intentions for the year. If you guys want to set a theme and intentions along with me, then you are more than welcome to do so. And please leave them in the comments down below because I would love to learn what you guys are going to be doing for the new year and get more ideas for me. And I can post my themes and intention, my theme and intentions in the description box down below so that you guys um, can look back on them if you want to make them one of yours as well. And if you guys are content on setting goals 
and content on setting goals and um, resolutions, then by all means do that. Do whatever you want to do for this new year. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I'm getting a lot more subscribers and I'm very, very excited because I'm almost to 100 to where I get a custom YouTube URL so that you guys can find me easier. So please, 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 please subscribe. Um, and yeah, please subscribe and give this video a like if you liked it. This is something that I want to do every year, so hopefully you guys like it. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up, and I love you guys very, very much. I am truly grateful for all of you who have stuck around with me <clears throat> for years, for the years that I've been on here, and I just hope to continue to grow my channel from here. So I thank you guys very, very much. I love you, and I will see you guys in the next Melissa Monday video. Bye!